everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this lovely little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this video, we're going back to the 90s once again, the mid-90s, and a song called 3AM by a band out of Florida called Matchbox 20. They had a few hits in the mid-90s, including this one. It's a great song, and it's a lot of fun to play on the mandolin. I will show you all the chords and licks coming up in this lesson. But first, if you're new here, don't hesitate to hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner of your screen. It really helps this channel to continue to grow. And if you are a satisfied returning subscriber, also don't hesitate to check out all the links down below that I have for you. Lots of good stuff for my viewers down there, including links to uh, products, mandolin products, and this mandolin maker um, itself, Johansson Mandolins out of Alberta, Canada. There's a singular sound link down below as well if you want to check out that Beat Buddy, the rhythm track or the rhythm machine that I'm using for this video and many others. It's just an awesome pedal. I really love it. And there's also a link down below to my Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin video lesson series, which is still only $29.99. What a deal. Finally, if you're looking for tab for this song or many, many other songs that I do on this channel, dozens and dozens of tabs for mandolin over on my Patreon site. The link, again, is in the description box down below. And uh, for a very low subscription fee of as low as $5 a month, you can get access to tons and tons of mandolin tabs and lessons and a host of other things over there on my Patreon page, which is also called Rock and Pop Mandolin. But that's enough business for now. Let's check out this song by Matchbox 20 for mandolin. It's called 3AM, coming up next here on RPM. All right, let's take a look at this cool song by Matchbox 20. It's in the key of G. And actually, there's only really, what, four chords in the whole song that you got to worry about. So it's fairly basic, and they're basic open chords, or cowboy chords, as some people call them. But there's a few little licks in the song that uh, the guitar player and the band does that I can show you, at least show you what you can do on the mandolin. They won't be exactly the same as the guitar, but they will be similar, and uh, they work really well, as you probably saw from the beginning of this video. So let's take a look at the start. It goes... All right, just this twice, right? All right, so what are those? Well, that's just your basic cowboy G chord and cowboy C chord right there, all right? So your G chord, of course, is the second fret of your A string, third fret of your E down there, and open G, open D, just all the way through. And you're just gonna strum it down, up, down, right? And then you're gonna hit that C chord, which is the same pattern or the same sort of grip right there. You're just moving your two fingers here up to there, okay? So now you're on the second fret of the D string and the third fret of the A, all right? So you're just hitting that chord once. So again, like that, and pause, all right? And you can even catch it on the upbeat like this. So, so down, up, down, up, like that if you like, or like that, and that's I'm hitting it on a downbeat that time, all right, or a downstroke, whatever you want. He does that twice on the intro of the song. Now, there's a little lick that goes uh, in there as well at the beginning of the song, and you really have to listen to it closely uh, to get the timing. The timing is a little bit, well, it's a little difficult at the beginning. He comes in on off times with his little uh, guitar lick, and I'll show you that in a second. But first, oh, I forgot to say this off the top of this video, but if you want to play along with the original track by Matchbox 20, you got to keep in mind that they use a capo on the first fret on the guitar. So they're actually playing this song a half tone higher. So some of you might go, hey, wait a minute, I'm trying to play along with it. It's not sounding good. Well, no, because they're playing it in G sharp and we're playing it here in G. All right. So what you can do, there's a couple of uh, web applications you can get to slow down MP3s on your phone or your computer. You might want to try that, slow them down or change the pitch slightly so you can play in the right key, but you don't have to play along with it. You can play along with a, a, a rhythm machine like the Beat Buddy or something like that, which uh, is just fine as well, all right? So the opening once again goes. And then from there, I count it one, two, three, four, one, two, right? Right on one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Right, he throws in that lick right there 
on that uh, that bar there on the two, all right? So what is that lick? Well, I'm going from the A note here. Okay, so that's, I'm going second fret of the G string, fourth fret of the G string, and open D. And I'm kind of hammering it. So hammering means I'm only hitting that first note, and then I'm bringing in my finger on the second note without hitting it with my pick, like, right? And I'm hitting that D string instead, so like that. Two, three, four, one, two. Right back into the same thing again. Okay, so one more time. It's two, three, four, one, two. So really fast too, like that, and back into that G chord. Okay. Now the second time he goes through, he comes through with a little, a little lick, like a little arpeggio from the G chord but it's played over the C chord, which is pretty cool. So like that. Okay, so what are those notes? Well, it's just that G note there, which is the third fret of your E string, fifth fret of your A string, and second fret of your A string. So just come down. So I'll show you how that works again from the beginning here. Two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four. So off, after the four on the one is when he comes down with the, right? And then they go into the song, okay? So it's a little tricky. The first little lick comes in on the two and the second little lick, this one, comes in on the one of a new bar. All right, so I'll play it for you one more time. Two, three, four, one, two. Two, three, four. Right, and then to the G again, all right? And now you're moving to the verses. All right, and the verse chords go. Okay, and then to a D chord, all right? So I'll show you that first. Now I'm doing a little mandolin kind of style pickup note here. It's different than what the guitarist does in Matchbox 20. As I said before, I'm, I'm giving you stuff that works on this instrument, which might be a little bit different from the guitar, but it still sounds pretty cool in the song, all right? So just go, you're just going back and forth between those, that G chord and that C chord. So, so instead of pausing like you did at the beginning of the song on the C, now you're strumming it, all right? You're going. And on the final part of it, I'm just, I'm just taking my pointer finger off and I'm doing a little hammer on there on the second fret of the D string, all right? Like this. So, like that, okay? So the strumming pattern really slowly is. Right? Now you do this. Okay, now you're going to a D chord, all right? But I'm gonna give you a little bit of a trick here. I'm not playing the full D chord at this point. All right, what I'm doing is just playing that part of it so I can get, I can utilize those three notes. I'll show you what I mean here, okay? So you're going G to C three times. And now, so. Okay, so what did I do there? Well, another very quick little pickup, like that. Again, it's very similar to the one at the beginning of the song, but this time you're pulling in that E note there. So going, right, like that. So second fret, fourth fret on the G, open D, second fret D, open D. Like that, okay? And then once you hit that note, try to, make that part of your D chord. What I'm doing there is not playing my full cowboy D. I'm ignoring the G string at this point and I'm just going a little arpeggio from that second fret of the E string, all right? So it's this the bottom half of your D, all right? Like, like that. Okay, so what you're doing is you're letting that D note ring out is, and then you're like that, you're bringing down those three notes, okay? So, one more time. Here we go. C, 
see the right, and I get it. Well, I forgot the third note there, but you want to come all the way down those three notes like that. Okay, so it's pretty. It's pretty easy when you get it. After this, just plant that first finger down there at that fret, or or whatever finger. You can do the second finger as well if you want on the second fret of the E string. All right, and then you're going to a C chord. Okay, you're, you're just strumming the C chord, but again, you're arpeggiating those same strings, but with different notes here now, right? So open E, third fret, second fret. One more time from that D. Okay, that time I went into the C chord. So kind of a up, down, down, like that. Down, up, down. Back to this. Same thing. So they do that part three times into the verses. Okay, now the end of the verse, they go, they do, they go to that again. But then they go back to the D and back to the C and build up into the chorus. Or, right, that part, all right? So, all right, I'll do the verses. Well, I'll shorten them up a little bit for you, getting into that final part, just to show you how it goes, all right? So let's say you've gone through the verses a couple of times, the first two parts of the verses. Now you're gonna go to the D. C, back to the D, and into the chorus, all right? So you're just going back and forth between that D configuration, and you could play the full D chord there if you'd like, and back to the C, and then back to the D, and back to the C, and then you're doing a little build up. All right, and now we're on to the chorus, which is basically just four chords, but for the most part, it's only three chords, G, D, C, G, C, G, C. Now you're going to E minor, D, C, like that. Okay, so you want to get those chords, G, D, C, and then back to D and G. And you want to do it this, this style of rhythm. Okay, so down. So it's quickly on the D chord to the C, and then quickly back again to the G. So G, G, D, C, C, D, G, G, D, C, right? Like that. And the final one goes E minor, D, C, and then they pause before going back to the verses again. Just like that. So one more time through the chorus. E minor, D, C, right there. All right, that is it. That is 3 a.m. by Matchbox 20. Very simple song. There is a little bridge part in the song as well, but once again, they're just using a C chord and then a G to a C. All right, so they're once again using those same chords. They're just uh, slowing it down a little bit after the second chorus, all right? But you can get it with just using those two chords as well. Have fun with the song. It is a lot of fun to play along with on the mandolin, especially if you're playing along with a guitar player and a vocalist. It's a really cool song to play, and people love it. They'll sing along with you if you have an audience there or if you have other people who are listening to you. Thanks very much for tuning into this video once again. We really appreciate it. But if you're new here, please hit that subscriber button on your way out. And if you're not new here, check out all the great links down below. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks again for watching RPM.